In the last video I unboxed the CNC, had a look at all the different parts, different packages that came with it, kind of gave a first impressions. It was really well packaged, really liked it, and since then I've stuck it together. It took a few days to put together on, on and off, and I had about three hours of footage that you'll see now in 10 minutes. So let's start. These first parts here are the bearings that the axes roll on. There's 48 of them here, 40 or 49, with one is spare. They just kind of pop together, a few parts, a washer, a ball bearing, and a few other thingamajigs. Took a while to put those together. They're, sim they're pretty simple though. The washers in the middle get a bit stuck, so you have to kind of force them into the middle when you're trying to put them through the screws. Pretty straightforward. So this is probably the easiest part of the project. A while as it was 48 of them though. And here they are all finished. On to the next plate. It's very easy to assemble these, they just the screws slot in as long as you follow the instructions. This is where the one of the guide threads goes through. Some of the parts are threaded so it fits nicely in. And the other side there. More nuts, different washers, aluminium spacers. Make sure you put these in correctly because you don't want to have to take them apart. <laughs> See there, it took a little I have a screwdriver trying to just assemble them. They go in pretty well. Just tighten them up. Now these are aluminium spacers to go in the middle. So this is one half of the it's X gantry. Yes, yeah, so we have an eccentric spacer, precision shim, solid V wheel, aluminium spacer, solid V wheel, and a few other parts. And the top. Screw it down. Looks pretty simple here. We took a little bit of fiddling around to get this to work. And I came back and tightened all of them uh, to a nice tight. Tightness with the spanners. You do need a good set of spanners for this, or a good set of tools. It's a lot easier. Ooh, now let's thread this thread through. Or the acne screw. And it fits nicely. You can tighten those up. And we'll see if we have successful uh, gantry. Oh, look, it works there. Nice. Let me tool them. I didn't see the second one there. It's the exact same as the other side of the. That's the Y. Ooh, stepper motor. Those aluminium. Those will connect into the wire. Now this motor is on the wrong side. Should have read the instructions. More parts, more screws. Lots of little small parts, but not necessarily difficult. But just you want to make sure you keep track of them. Otherwise you lose them. More screws going through. Now those little aluminium things, they are the, they're on the other side there, you can't see them, but they're the parts that you use to tune the axes to make sure that they're you know, parallel. So this is the Z axis now. More screws, more washers. It's kind of, it is a bit repetitive once you do it once, but it's good practice to keep it up. Now they're not really right angle there; they're loose there, so I'll put the screw in and then we'll tighten them up later. Didn't really want to overdo anything at, the, at this stage, just because I wasn't sure of how it would proceed. More of these ball bearings on the top. more nuts. These are just kind of hand tightened and then I came back and tightened them with the screwdriver and the spider again. And the z-axis and it works. Nice. Actually that was the y. No, that was the x-axis and the z-axis were on the top of this thing. A few minutes. 
see the Z-axis there works nice. And I'm just fiddling around with it there. So all those four stepper motors go on the, in the same way. You can see the, the screw has these little slots in them that prevent it from falling apart. And then they tighten it into the, it's like a little aluminium kind of spring there, you can see the wires. And I'm just turning the motors and you can see I'm successfully turning the, or moving with the ZX up now. I want to cut. I'm curious as to what I'm doing. You probably steal some of the bags. So, and more parts. So now I'm sticking these two. Um, this, the, this is the X axis that will. The, the Z axis will slide up and down that now. I'm doing both sides of the X axis. Sticking the Z axis onto the X axis. And it's live, yay! Threading through this and securing it. There's a ball bearing in there, and then there's a lock and a washer as well. Make sure you follow the instructions just to tighten one side after you fix it all and take some of the back play out. I'm just turning the motor and we're half successful. Moving it more cut. These are the C beams, so these are this is the Y axis now. Sticking it all together. Looks really simple putting it together now, but this is a few, oh, this is filmed over a few days. Yeah, make sure you get yourself a screwdriver set like this, or a, uh, this is an Allen key now in the end. And these are the Y axis motors, there's two of them. And again, I got the screw driven CNC, so it would be, yours will be different if it's a belt fed, a belt driven one. Yeah, all the parts are good quality. Had any hiccups so far? Just just takes patience. These are the uh, they're like nuts that slide into the frames. Make sure you put them in. I had to take this part of the machine apart to put these in. You need these later. Tightening them down. These are the last parts. These are what the wasteboard going to. Here you can see those kind of nuts. Make sure you put them in. I had to take this apart a few times because I forgot them. I'm gonna make sure they're all kind of right angles and stuff. We'll be able to tune it up later though if there's something not right. I have a T-square on hand that I just make sure try and make sure everything's right angles to everything else and then uh, but I'm sure I'll get to some teething uh, options later and see them just sliding it in there. I nearly done. One last tighten. Finished. So here is the final and fully assembled uh, CNC, the mechanical frame. Uh, still have all the electronics and um, computer stuff and power stuff to assemble onto it. It's basically slides forward and back and up and down as your CNC would. We have the stepper motors on. It's pretty simple to put, to put together uh, as long as you follow the instructions. The instructions are very clear. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the assembly and now we're on to um, putting all together the, the electronics uh, the wiring, uh, programming and all the other fun stuff before we can get this thing moving. So uh, stay tuned, another video coming out soon.